so what's up everybody um just like the rest of the country it is snowing like crazy so i could get out and ride the four-wheeler maybe try to make a video that way as i have been out on the four-wheeler however um i tried turning on my helmet camera the other day and it it was not liking it the uh i leave it attached to my helmet and i leave my helmet in the garage and it just didn't want to cut on so it was giving me an air light so anyway Here's something else I've been working on. Alcohol stove. I intend to do hopefully some camping this year. If not some moto camping this year, definitely some moto camping next year when my little one is old enough to be able to stay multiple days at grandparents' houses and things like that without the wife being too worried about it. So in preparation of that, I've built a alcohol stove so I'm not going to go into great detail about how to build one of these or show you how to build one. This is the first one I've ever built. So uh, we'll see if it works. I haven't tested it yet. Um, they're very simple. You cut a Coke can so that you have the bottom and you only have kind of this much. And then you do the exact same thing with another one. And you crimp the inside one with a pair of pliers so that you can slide the outside one over it. And then you take and punch some holes in the center with just a thumbtack and then a series of holes around this outside in the crease and boom now i don't even know if this is gonna work like i said it's the first one i ever built never tried this but i did uh whip up this little pot stand that fits the diameter of uh, this just so i can test it here and uh, that'll let me sit a old rusted up dirty cast iron skillet on it just to see if it works uh, this will probably not be what i take camping with me at least not on the motorcycle because it's just heavy and bulky but it'll let me test and see how hot this little alcohol stove gets i'll go grab some snow from outside because i've only got six inches of it out there and so i can grab some put it in that skillet and make sure that we can sizzle water and ice um Yeah, because if I was going to use that pot, I'd need to take it to work, sandblast it, oil it up real good, put it in a preheat, a uh, heat treat oven, and let it sit for a few hours, like completely reseason it from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and, and this pot stand is just some bolts, double nutted, one from each side, and then a hole drilled and punched out in the middle for the pretty much the exact size of this can. Maybe, maybe not the best pot stand or what I would actually use, but it works. I have, I would normally, based on the videos I've seen, I would normally probably try to use the yellow bottle of heat from like AutoZone, the fuel additive that helps whip away moisture, but I don't have any of that and there's six inches of snow outside. So I've got 91% isopropyl alcohol. The next grade down of alcohol that you would buy, like rubbing alcohol would be 73%. Not good enough. Um, Got to have at least 91%. So we'll fill this thing up. It's probably only going to hold, if I had to guess, an ounce or so of fuel. I'm going to try to put all of this in it because, well, I filled up the whole bottle. So... Didn't fill it up for nothing. Eventually it'll start leaking out on the table down here from where the inside can is coming over filled. all I got. If it leaks out on the table, it leaks out on the table. I don't see it leaking out on the table. It doesn't appear that it has. Place this back. It is holding. And that's another thing. The way I, I did mine, you press it together. Make sure you press it together good enough that the inside can bottoms out against this rib. And then the top can depression is below the the 
the highest point of the inside can. So it's actually holding alcohol. Like it will not drain anymore. So with that in mind, I can tell when I'm about to overfill it and spill it. I just now realized that looking at it, but maybe something that's kind of known for people that use these, but again, first time messing with it. Not sure how good that'll show up on video. It's not super bright in here, so you just got a a flame burning in the middle. And I think the idea is, from what I've seen, you let it get fairly hot, and then you take a coin, or what I'm gonna do is take a coin, and I'm gonna drop a coin over my center holes, which will then force the the kind of the plume to come out of the outside holes. Assuming this, this is going to end up working like it should, but. Got my alcohol stove working after some more tinkering. Looks like I'm gonna need a taller pot stand. And obviously something a little better than this uh, paint can lid that I whipped up real quick. But other than that, it seems to be working pretty good. I think we could definitely cook on it. I mean, you had this pot, like I said, old, dirty old pot. But it ain't been sitting on here but 30 seconds maybe. That's what one of these stoves looks like when it's running correctly. And my issue was, I think the main issue was you have to uh, you have to get these things hot, like the actual we'll call it like the actual fuel part of the stove. So just the liquid fuel, like down around the base, needs to get hot. It causes that alcohol to alcohol or whatever fuel you're using, heat, whatever you're using to. Uh, Get hot enough to start expanding. Maybe even I heard it crackling like it was boiling there a little bit when I was first getting it going. And uh, once that happens, then these things will fire off. So yeah, we got uh, we got that to look forward to in future videos, camping videos. I've got my stove situation figured out. Like I said, I just gotta figure out something a little better for pot stands, but. For a free, I can call it free, I had to drink two Cokes, which I'd have done anyway. That's, uh, that's a pretty good looking stove. Don't ask me what size pan this is. Eight inch, maybe. So, come up with a better pot stand. Something just a little bit taller and something that also maybe has wind protection. I'll have the cooking part of my camping kit ready to go.